That was real. Uh, joining me tonight, a real rock and roller, legendary frontman and co-founder of the Grammy Award winning metal band Megadeth, who has the number one album on every imaginable chart. Dave Mustaine is here. Great to see you, Dave. Hi, Kennedy. How are you, darling? Oh, I'm, I'm doing great. Me and Ruben are both doing great. Uh, your latest album, The Sick, The Dying, and The Dead. Uh, you have an interesting quote here. You said, Megadeth is a band has always been most successful when the world is at its craziest. Um, it is no shock that you guys have just raged to the top of the charts with this. Has the pandemic been good for your songwriting? Well, I, I wouldn't want to uh, actually put it in that context, but, you know, for, for uh, your fans and viewers, uh, you and I have known each other back from the 90s, back when you were a VJ host, and we did the Night of the Living Megadeth uh, concert in uh, Manhattan, I think it was 1994 That's that right. you hosted that with us. So, so um, I'm glad to get this opportunity to reminisce with you about stuff like that. Um, the pandemic uh, motivating us for songs. You know, I've, I've tried to use things that we all deal with without putting too much of a uh, black or white, um, you know, uh, yin or yang to it. I try and go right up the middle so that, you know, you can think what you want. With my kids, I've always said, you know, here's the pro, here's the con, here's what dad would do, and, mm -hmm. you know, here's what happened. Yeah, we're the only ones who are keeping rationality in our kids' lives. Uh, you know, we have to be the ones right. who explain to them how to take an issue apart and, and rationally look at it and think for yourself. Now, people, they, they often accuse you of putting your politics into your music, but you don't really do that, do you? Well, I don't, I don't put any political party favoritism into my lyrics. I talk about issues that affect all of us. And I've grown up in, uh, in, a, in a very uh, real uh, outlook towards life and the world. I've been living on my own ever since I was 15. Mm -hmm. So, you know, back in 1976, that's, that's like a 10-year-old nowadays. So, um, you know, I, I know what it's like for a lot of the kids that are growing up in our nation and, and I, I believe I have my own uh, beliefs of you know what a big part of that problem is and I try and put it into lyrics in a, in a, in a uh, easily palatable way so that people can m maybe take a look at stuff and maybe maybe not want what I have but mm -hmm. you know ask themselves do, do you, you know I, I don't want what Dave has but do I want what I have you know that kind of a thing to give yourself a different perspective and maybe another shot at something in life what is an issue that keeps you up at night either as a parent or someone who reads the news you know I, I uh, <clears throat> believe it or not I, I don't really watch too much uh, of the current affairs right now because I don't have a lot of time to do that. There was a period while I was going through my recovery from my my previous illness where I, I got to watch a lot of TV, but I'm just so busy right now. I know a lot of the uh, current affairs that are going on, and, you know, I, I think it's just like anything in life. When people are going to look back. They're going to figure out who's doing what. They're going to correct it, and we're going to move on. Well, Dave Mustaine, it is great to talk to you. People can go see Megadeth on tour, and they absolutely should. You have channeled uh, all of your experience and all of your metal into a phenomenal show. Thank you so much for being here. I always appreciate talking to you.